When it comes to debugging, one of the first lines of defense is actually the IDE long before you get to the debugger. Here, for example, I have some QML that I've written. If you don't follow the QML, that's okay. That's going to be covered later. Uh, but if I have a typo in there, for example, I've typed in toxed instead of text in the, for the property name of a label, um, I immediately get a red underscore, uh, which shows that I have a, it's like a spell checker in a word processor, it shows that I've got an error there. In case I miss that, there's also a red X in the, uh, in the gutter here. Uh, in case I'm looking at another file or something, uh, or moved to it quickly and didn't notice it, it also shows up here in the Project Explorer, and then the uh, that rolls up to the folders that contain it. So within the assets and within the project folders, that red X shows as well, indicating that's in, that there's an error. Because this is in a the error is in a QML file, there will be no problem uh, building this. If I run build, I will not have any errors in my build log because the QML doesn't get compiled, it gets downloaded to the device and then it's loaded by the application at runtime. This is what you're going to see if you have an error in your QML. It won't be able to interpret it and you'll have a, a black screen like this. So if you see this, the first thing to do is go and check some of your QML, see if you can find out what happened there. Go and look at the problems view and that might take you directly to it. It's sure to be listed there if the ID has spotted it. It will tell you the line and the location and the specific file that it was in. If you double click on that, it'll take you right to the spot where the problem is. So let's fix that. If you make a mistake in your C++ code, um, you're also going to get some information there. Let's see, what if we mistyped uh, translator, called it translator. Well, the color coding's not quite right. It doesn't show as an error yet, but when I go and build it, this is going to cause a problem for us. So here we go, we get the red X in the gutter here as well. Here we can see there's the red mark showing the map. If I scroll that error off the screen, we can still see there's a, a red mark there and we can scroll up to see where that is. It also shows in the, um, in the problems view, so we can go and jump to uh, where that problem is. So let's fix that, and that goes away. It doesn't go away right away, of course. I have to rebuild it every time I change the source code. And there it's gone away.